Hey everyone, this is Ty from Tennessee. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the five things that I love about this 2021 Harley Davidson Sports Dress. Stick around. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys joining me in today. If you are new to this channel, my name is Ty. I live in Tennessee, hence the name Ty from Tennessee. And right now I'm riding around on my brand new 2021 Harley Davidson Sportster S. I've had to, I've had the opportunity to, to uh, ride a few times on this bike and put some miles on this bike. And so I'm starting to formulate some of the things that I really love about this motorcycle and then some of the things that uh, I'm just not all that crazy about. And so I wanted to maybe start with, let's go over the five things that I love about this motorcycle. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Number one has to be this, which is the really the centerpiece to this whole motorcycle, and that's the Revolution Max engine. I mean, that's kind of what draws attention to this motorcycle at this point. It's what draws attention to the Pan America, other than it being a you know touring and adventure motorcycle. And that's just that new engine design. I love the way the motorcycle, or I love the way the engine looks in the motorcycle, both on the Sportster S and the Pan America. And uh, the Revolution Max engine, man, it's just the new technology that Harley hopefully will be rolling out. And it's the way to go. It's liquid cooled. This one here, I think, is the T version of the Revolution Max engine. It's got 121 horsepower, something like 80 or 90 foot pounds of torque. Just a massive engine that sits in this little, you know, 500 plus frame motorcycle. And it will haul. It is so much fun to ride. And so that newer technology of what Harley is beginning to do with their engine is one of the reasons that I love this motorcycle. All right, something else that I have learned recently, and again, it's just riding this motorcycle and kind of getting a feel for it that I absolutely love, is the maneuverability of this bike at slow speeds. I mean, that's kind of what you would expect, I think. You know, with, with me, I'm, I'm typically riding a big bagger. I've also got a... Um, a street glide so I'm used to that big bagger and the heavy feel and you know it takes uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of momentum to get uh, the bike moving but not with this one no way it is so maneuverable if I need to uh, cut corners or turn the bike around or even in the garage just kind of move it to where I need it it is so maneuverable when the engines not running and even at slow speeds man it's just uh, such a difference compared to what I'm used to and that just really caught me by surprise and actually it took a little bit of getting used to you know when I'm going around turns and corners and that type of thing I'm really used to the weight of my street glide but on this bike man it just zips right on through with those tight turns and even in the slow sweeping uh, curves like everybody likes to ride, this motorcycle is great there too. So the maneuverability, the slow speed maneuverability of this bike is something that I absolutely love about it. All right, what else? Let's see, we went over the Revolution Max engine. We went over slow speed and maneuverability. I'll tell you what, it's this digital display right here. This thing right here, it is so neat. So I love the digital display and all of the technology that is built in to this motorcycle. Now, just that one little sentence, one little thing that I like about this bike, I'm gonna break that out into a video in and of itself that will showcase all the, the techno, uh, that will showcase all the technology of this motorcycle. But really, everything that's just built into this unit is so, so cool. I mean, you've got your, it, it'll uh, link up uh, your Bluetooth to your phone for navigation, for music. It'll link up your headset as well. So you can pair a headset, you can pair your phone with it. Um, and having that navigation built into this little circular display 
I absolutely love that. That's so cool. So I don't have to worry about getting my phone out of my pocket and you know locking it and unlocking it with a number code or face ID and all that type of stuff. I don't have to worry about you know flipping through my playlist if there's something that I want to hear. I don't have to do any of that stuff on my phone. It's all built into the bike. It's all integrated and it works flawlessly and I cannot wait to display that in a separate video for you guys. It is super cool and I believe that Harley did an absolutely fantastic job with that. So congrats Harley, job well done. All right, next up. Now this kind of goes along with some of the technology features that are built into this motorcycle and that's the ride modes. You know, for so long on a bunch of different videos and you know, uh, forums and stuff that I would read, I would hear people say, oh, Harley is so behind the times. They're so behind because they should have ride modes by now. Well, guess what? Now they have ride modes. I'm not sure if the Pan America does. I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. But this one most certainly does. You've got uh, three different ride modes on this motorcycle. Let's see if we can flip through them real quick. We've got uh, rain mode, right? And I guess it would just make sense that with a motorcycle that has this much horsepower and this much torque, that uh, you need to back it down in weather, right? You need to back it down in inclement weather. That would be for sure. So they've got this rain mode that does just that. And you can really, really tell a difference. I mean, you can tell the throttle is dialed back. The power is dialed back. There's no two ways about it. Tap that button again, go to road mode. You can actually feel an increase in power. That's an absolute certainty. Now, when I first took possession of this bike, for a while, that's this is the mode that I kept it in. I kept it in road mode. I just didn't want the motorcycle to get away from me, and I wanted to kind of respect the power of the bike and learn the power of the bike and that type of thing. And it also has, once I got familiar with that, you tap this bad boy again, boom, and you're in sport mode. And I mean, <laughs> it will just take off. This motorcycle is so fast in sport mode. And I, I just, you know, want to tell you guys, I don't ride a lot of sport bikes. I have it in my past. So if you're not a sport bike rider and you're unsure of the power or you're unfamiliar with the power, I, I'm just telling you, watch yourself. You hit this button and you drop this bike into sport mode and it will fly. And that is one of the most awesome things I love about this motorcycle. Now I haven't had the opportunity to uh, take it out in the rain. Or actually I won't take it out in the rain, but if I get caught out in the rain, I will tell you guys about that and uh, describe that experience for you as well. So rain mode, road mode, and sport mode. Check them out if you get a chance, it's super cool. And the fifth thing that I absolutely love about this bike, and I really wasn't expecting this, is that if you pop the seat off of this motorcycle, and you know, it comes with a key, you just twist the key, the seat pops right off. It's got like a little port charging station. I don't the exact terms, I, I don't know, but for like a battery tender or for heat gear, and so when I bought this motorcycle, I was thinking, yeah, that's really going to suck when it gets super cold. I'm going to have to layer up and I'm not going to have the ability to wear my heat gear like I have in my street glide. Oh, no, I will definitely be able to use my heat gear on this bike. So that will make those chilly morning rides into work and back home so much more tolerable. And that would be the fifth thing that I love about this motorcycle. Well, the list does continue to grow of things that I love about this motorcycle. And I just wanted to go over five of them that were specifically on my mind for today. But the list does continue to grow. It's a great bike. I hope you guys get to test drive one real soon. I've got a feeling that you'll absolutely love it. I really think you will. So I'll tell you what, if you would, please like this video. I would appreciate that very much. If you would, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would just be awesome. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.